Hey everyone, my name is Drew, and we are here. This is going to be week number three, I believe, of the UBL season five, and we are up against Johnny GB and his Oregon Douglets. Now, uh, this is going to be a really tough matchup. He made some team trades that really made his team a lot more difficult to deal with, and I'm not really sure just how well I match up against it, but we're here now, and uh, we're going to see whatever the heck we can do here. He just has a lot of threats. Uh, the Urshifu Rapid Strike is going to be huge. Okay, we will see the Incineroar, Quagsire, Clef Key. No Urshifu at all. Wow, that is nuts to me. Okay, no Urshifu at all. Um, But yeah, Klecky, Gudra, Domize. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Scizor, Incineroar, and the Quagsire. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, that makes... I mean, no Doug Trio really blows my mind. No Urshifu blows my mind. I kind of expected Orbital for for webs if for if for nothing else, um. But yeah, I mean, I think. Um. He only has spikes on his team. It looks like. Um. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think I just want to lead off with this thing? Question mark. This feels right, but I have no idea. I honestly have no idea. It's making me kind of wish that I teleport on this thing, but I felt like I needed uh, just a few too many things. I honestly don't even know what he would want to lead off with. Um, Incineroar, Scizor, feel like Saw leads, Klefki, I mean, could set up spikes early game if he wanted to. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't have a stun fist, so he should be pretty for- yeah, yeah, we do see the Incineroar lead. So that's super duper interesting. Now, this is a moderately defensive um, thing here. We'll trace Intimidate, which is going to be fun. Um, and let's see here. Against Incineroar. We know he really likes offensive Incineroar. Uh, Moonblast is going to be a 2-KO. Um, we should always take a Flare Blitz. Which, I mean, really makes me want to get this damage off, because dealing with this thing in the long run is going to be tough. And if and if he takes this opportunity to pivot into Scizor, then we do have the Babir Berry. And, um, Mystical Fire, especially after... Especially after... Uh, yeah, okay. So that barely missed out on 2 KO. We will reveal the Babir Berry, and we do see how, how offensive this thing is. Um, it does have the leftovers as well. Okay. Okay. I mean, I feel like that's okay here. Uh, I, I mean, I definitely didn't want to switch anything else into a knockoff, so... This definitely feels okay to me. I don't think... I mean, I mean, I mean, Gardevoir... I don't feel like Gardevoir has that strong of a role in this matchup in general. Um, obviously, it can kind of deal with the... Okay. Go to this thing. Um... I don't know if that means that I would want it. That does a decent amount of damage. Was that? That was not a crit. But that's just a straight up special attack drop. And I mean, I really think that he's gonna want to like make some things happen with with spikes or screens, which honestly makes me want to punish this thing at least with mystical fire. I I'd be surprised if it just hits me with a flash cannon. But yeah, yeah. So 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 we'll find a turn somewhere with with um with Mandibuzz to, to, to defog. That I'm not worried about. What I am worried about is getting damage off on this gosh dang Klefki. And uh, there will be a second special attack drop, so it does have to be a little bit wary of of um, taking a big hit. I actually think it's in range of another Moonblast. Although that is mildly dubious. Um, I don't think you'd want to switch anything into this, except maybe the Gudra. I guess that's reason enough to want to go for the Moonblast, even though it does feel like a mild risk, given that... Um, and given that it could be a little bit of a roll here. Um, but I do think th that the potential Gudra coming in is worth the risk here. Or, I mean, even the potential Quagsire coming in. Uh, who knows? Although, he might not... Yeah, I, I don't know. He might not expect him to, to want to have the Energy Ball. He could hard go into the into the Scizor here. And this Gardevoir is punching holes into the team early on. Which is really what I need here. Uh, we do avoid a Thunder Wave, which is uh, mildly huge. But, um, I don't know. I don't... I mean, this thing was obviously being sacked off. I don't know how much that ultimately matters in the longer scheme of things, but the bigger point is that uh, 
we, I mean, we, 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 we prevented screens. We only got one layer of spikes up, and we're going to be able to defog later on in the match. But it does allow this thing in, and it does make me want to kind of save this thing a little bit because it, it, I mean, it does feel like it has a little bit of offensive presence here, which I do need quite a bit of. Um, now the U-turn is super duper obvious. The U-turn is incredibly obvious. Um, I could make this play. What does that? What does this invite in? It, it, it invites in the Incineroar. If the Incineroar comes in, then, huh? I feel like, what does this invite in? If I go into this and it invites in, I think this is the safest play overall, right? That's what it feels like to me. Although I'm not entirely sure yet. I'm not entirely sure yet. But I guess we'll see. I think just go straight up for, for Bullet Punch. So, so, yeah, now he definitely, you know, kind of assumed that I was um, foddering it off, which I wasn't initially, right? Like, if he did that, like, a turn before, I probably would have. But with this thing down, I think I'm just free to defog and free to kind of um, let myself switch around a little bit longer. Uh, I, this is definitely a, a U-turn coming in. I'm almost positive. Unless he wants to set up a Swords Dance, in which case, I guess he can Foul Play next turn, which would be interesting. Um... And yeah, I mean, we do outspeed this thing. We'll get a really fat U-turn off, or sorry, foul play off. And I don't, yeah, I don't really know what in what I would really need this thing for. Um, I think foul play is just really, really strong here. In terms of getting a whole lot of damage off, uh, right now, which I really, really need, I think that is, was that a crit? That was not even a crit, that was just... That's just the type of damage Mandibuzz is putting out here. Mandibuzz is a monster. Okay. Um, I mean, truthfully, I didn't see that coming even a little bit, right? But uh, the Gujra's going to come in. I would have to assume that a Thunderbolt would be coming my way. Do I have any plays out fe that feel profitable here? Um, uh, do I have any plays that would feel profitable here? If I go into... I don't know. I mean, I probably should make this play, right? I, yeah, I think I should make this play just to get some more damage off. Because now with the Scizor gone, I feel a lot safer just making plays with my... With my... Uh, excuse me. With my Gardevoir here. We should take this pretty darn well. Not as well as I would have liked. But... Uh, this will let me get a reasonably free moon blast off. I don't think he can really, I, I don't know. I mean, he might, yeah, I was just going to say he might be faster than me. It's going it, 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 it would depend on a lot. I, I, I honestly didn't know whether or not he would want to make a, a Gujra faster than me, but I mean, what this signals to me is that I was always going to lose this matchup no, no matter what happens. So yeah, I, I, I could have maybe gotten some hits off on the Delmise and, and some things later on in the match, but I mean, overall, I don't really think that's the worst thing that could have happened in the world. Um, now here, I mean, here I probably just go into this thing, try to get a Toxic off, um, right? I feel like that makes sense to me. Although the Gudra, the Gudra's definitely a problem. The Gudra's definitely a problem. Um, I guess we'll see, right? Um, but if it baits in the Incineroar, then getting a Toxic off on that would be huge. Uh, getting off a toxic off, off on that would be huge because it's, that would open up my my uh, dragapult a lot, a lot. It goes into the Delmize, which um is interesting. Um, I'm not too sure what the Delmize would come in here to do. I'm not too too sure what the Delmize would come in here to do. But I do think I have to play really really carefully about the Gudra. I mean, obviously this does signal to me that the Gudra doesn't have flamethrower, which is honestly huge. It's honestly huge. I could. I could start to set up iron defenses, although I don't know. I don't think that's the best play here. I don't think that's the best play here. I think I could probably go into this thing, right? No. Hmm. What do I need this for? Yeah, yeah, this is yeah, this is going to be the best value I get out of this thing. I Outside of a switch, outside of a dedicated switch into the, to the, um, goes for the anchor shot, yeah, okay. 
I mean, uh, outside of a dedicated switch into the... What is that thing called? Um... Quagsire. But otherwise, I am really safe to kind of sit in here for a little bit. I kind of want an earthquake, assuming that something would want to come in on this. Um, although I could also toxic. I could also toxic with maybe the Gujo would want to come in. I don't know. I'm going to take... Mm. Yeah, I think with I think because I have the synthesis, I don't think I have to ever really worry about um, missing HP on, on this Tangro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So now I can start to wear this thing down. I don't think I have to worry the most about um, about this Gudra. I don't know. This Gudra could absolutely um, 1v1 me, but I'm going to try to make that not happen, right? Um, I think I can do this. So, okay. The Gudra just clicks Sludge Wave and switch out. Could it be Choice? Could it be Scarfed? It could be Scarfed, right? The more that I think about, it, yeah, I th yeah, I think he knew that I was gonna make this play. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm I'm kind of talking myself into the into the Gudra potentially being scarfed here. But this is obviously going to be uh, not the best situation for me, for me to be in. So, what, what, what I want to do here? I mean, this is gonna be an incoming knockoff, right? It's gonna be an incoming knockoff. Although, this thing doesn't care about its item anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I think this makes sense to me. It doesn't have any way of getting over rocks. And I can kind of um, heal up on this thing, make sure that I'm healthy, and kind of put, me, put myself in a position to, 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 to play around the rest of the team. I could also Toxic uh, on this as well. Because I'm not sure if you'd want to stay in, but I think I have to just stay healthy for now. I think I have to stay healthy for now. Um, could be a U-turn coming in. That would be not ideal. Parting shot, yeah, no, that, that makes sense. But um, I don't think that'll ever matter because of my particular set. I don't really um, r rely on attacking with with this. Um, I don't think I'm afraid of whatever wants to come in, right? Right? Is that is that silly of me to think? Gudra comes in. Okay. Um, I kind of want to gauge damage, right? Because I don't think this thing is going to be so offensive that it just straight up KOs me. I really want to roost and then switch out and then kind of... I, I mean, especially if I especially if I truly believe that this thing is going to be scarfed, I should take some time to kind of gauge what kind of damage output this thing is putting off. Yes, yeah, so I can just roost a little bit here. Although, I think he's going to... I think he's going to get frustrated. I think he's going to think that I'm trying to talk to Solomon, which I'm not. I'm just trying to kind of feel out what he's trying to do in this situation. Um, now, a foul play would actually give him Sap Zipper, which, which doesn't matter in this situation. I probably should just foul play here. It just starts to get a little bit of... Oh, so, okay, so it's not... So it's definitely not Scarfed, and it's definitely not... Um, okay. No, I mean, that's totally fair. That's totally fair. We can start to get a little bit of damage output here. That, that was a... Very decent amount of damage output. And this thing is very weakened. Uh, so much so that I think Heliolisk kind of has no an proper answers anymore. Um, now, I, I definitely wish I had U-turn on this thing. Um, but I think I just click Roost and then, and then I kind of deal with whatever comes out next. Does withdraw. But I think I'm putting Heliolisk in the best position possible to kind of do what it needs to do here. Uh, go, goes into the Quagsire, and I can get a Toxic off on this thing as well. Um, I'm definitely going to have to play some games with the Heliolisk, but it's not going to be the end of the world here, right? Um, I can just kind of make some things happen now. Because from here... Yeah, from here it's just a, it's just a positioning game, and as long as I can win on positioning, then his team is going to get worn down over time. His team's going to get worn down over time, as long as I can again just position myself properly. 
Now again, I really wish that I'd U-turn, but I think just getting a foul play off here is optimal. I don't think there's any real play that I want to make here. I could make this play. I mean, I could definitely make this play. Uh, I don't want to get burned, though. Although, does it really matter for what he has on his team? Um, I don't feel like it does. Let me get one more roost off, and then... And then, hopefully, just... Just, um... Try to... No, I, sh I should have made a switch. That was me just n not really... Um having courage of my conviction in this situation but i think i think this will leave me with more hp than i started the turn with at the very least um i think i started out at 150 ish so yeah okay so i so I, I do leave the turn with a little bit more so let me freely go out into the quacks or into the this thing and we can start to make some things happen in terms of positioning myself well enough where what, what I really want to do mo more than anything is position my healer list in su such that it can kind of um, make some plays happen for me. But uh, certain things have to happen f first before I can just start making that play. Um, and in particular, it's going to be kind of risky against the Quagsire because I really have to make some decent calls on on that thing just to be or just in, uh, to be able to kind of um, manage what he wants to do here. So I'm going to click EQ because it hits the entire team, especially. Especially just getting chip damage in case the Incineroar wants to come in, but he just stays in here. Um, and this will put him down really, really low. Goes for a Poltergeist. And um, I don't know if this is a contact move. I don't... It's probably not, actually. Um, but yeah, if it was, then I think that would have been a KO right there. Um, I think he's going to want to stay in and just deal more damage just to try to keep... Well, I can't switch out anyway, but... Um, this is where, again, having Synthesis on this set uh, was really beneficial. I, I I, really struggled with whether or not Synthesis would be just, like, dead weight on this set. But uh, here's just doing doing its thing a little bit. And I can kind of start to make things happen. Excuse me. So from here, I would have to imagine Incineroar wants to come in. And if Incineroar wants to come in... Uja comes in. Okay, okay. So, very potentially going for the Sludge Wave. Uh, I could do this and then double back in a Tangrowth. Well, no, if I do that, then I would want to double into... I, I would potentially want to double into Heal this, right? Well, no, what would you want to go into, right? Um, I think I might just want to click Knock Off, right? Knockoff feels good to me here. I'm gonna do it. Because if this thing wants to stay in, I, I mean, I mean, if he's been hiding flamethrower this whole time, then he's been doing a really good job of hiding flamethrower. Um, if he's not, then then I still got in my healerisk play, and I can try to you know make some things happen again. Does withdraw. Hopefully, I can get a knockoff off. Yeah. Uh, so that'll hinder this recovery a little bit. And then from here, from here, I can, uh, I don't know what I do. Um, I mean, I probably get healthy with, on, on this thing because I think this, uh, Quacksire always just lets me get healthy on my, on my, on my, uh, Mandibuzz, right? And then, Skull Sur surprised me because I always had the Quagsire, or sorry, the um, Tangrowth play uh, uh, available to me, but uh, I, I definitely understand. I, de I definitely understand um, not wanting to, to, to Toxic, assuming that I would have some other moves. I, I knock off is my only tag move. Honestly, okay, so so I had a lot of fun with, with, um, with that... Uh, set my plan ultimately was to try and and build a build a build a and a scavalier that could potentially that could potentially ko um now here's definitely the turn where i try to bring this thing in my my goal was to potentially build a set that could ko um 
or, or, or sorry, not even KO, but uh, deal with a Scarfed Urshifu, because I thought Scarfed Urshifu was a 100% must bring, like not even a question had to bring. Um, and, he, I mean, he's put, he's put himself in a position where he has to risk the Grass Knot, although maybe I just... Actually, do I have to make those kinds of risks? Let me see. What kind of damage am I doing to a, to a, to a standard Quagsire? Because if I if I KO a a just max HP Quagsire, then I think I just go for it. I do. I definitely do not. I definitely do not. I think I click U turn question mark. Yeah. I I don't know. He might expect this and go out of the Gudra. He he doesn't. It's fine. But yeah, I always just take this opportunity and go back out into... Into... This thing. And then from here, I don't know what I do. I, I don't know what I do. I, I definitely don't want to misplay this one, but... At the same time, I just want to, you know, figure out a way that I can make things happen. <laughs> um, and I, and, I def and I definitely don't want to feel like I'm stalling, but yeah, that is a lot of damage to be doing. Uh, I think this is going to allow in my my Dragapult. I feel like this just lets in my Dragapult. And... I think either one of two things is going to happen. Either he stays in... Okay, goes for goes for the cover. That's totally cool. That's totally cool. So from here... I mean, my, I mean, my Dragapult set is not that great for the mons that he brought, but... I feel like I click U-turn here. I really want to click Hydro Pump, but obviously I can't. Um, I mean, I probably just click Shadow Wall, right? It, it, it allows in the, the Incineroar, which just sucks. There's no way around that. It just sucks. Okay. He, he lets this thing go down. He lets this thing go down. Okay. That's totally fair. But now that makes it a lot easier for my Dragon Pole to, to, to want to lock into Hydro Pump. And maybe my, maybe my, my, my Dragon Ball can switch back in and um, d do what he needs to do. But it also opens up the door a lot for my for my uh, other thing, my my um, Hulalisk. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, do I take one hit with Hulalisk? I probably don't. Although it wants a knockoff, right? It definitely wants to click knockoff against me. Which probably means that I can go out into this, take a knockoff, Volt Switch out, and then... Volt Switch out, and then... Go into Dragapult and click... And ideally click Hydro Pump twice. That would be the ideal situation that I want to find myself in, right? Uh, yeah, goes for the knockoff, that's totally fine. We should take what we don't take... Was that a crit? That was not a crit, okay. I mean... If that had to be my sack, then I guess that was my sack, right? What are you going to do? Um. But now, the but, but now I can come in. I really thought that I at least took one. This has to be super offensive, dude. Uh, and hopefully I just land a couple Hydro Pumps, right? I mean, that's all that I can do, right? That's all I can try to do. Okay. Uh. Do I lose now? Do I no? Um, well, hmm. Do I lose because of that miss hydro pump? I mean, I feel like I one v one this thing with Mandibuzz, but I'm not sure, right? Incineroar, man. Uh, I guess we try to s figure that out. Well, okay, so my, my my saving grace here, right, is that I don't... I mean, I don't know. This could be this could be an Adamant Incineroar, right? And if it is... Against... I mean, I think it always burns itself out to its own recoil. Right? But it's never gonna, like, look pretty, right? <laughs> um... Yeah, this is not great. Honestly. But it does look... It does look like I can... Roost and kind of just force this thing to take more recoil and poison damage. 
but... Okay. Okay. Um... Hmm. I guess we see... Because he, he knows that I can switch out on the potential sludge wave into... Into... A Scavalier, but I think this time I make this play. Or I just click Roost again, right? I could click Foul Play. If I click Foul Play... Then... If I click Foul Play, then I think Tangrowth wins it because he has to... Flare Blitz, take Rocky Helmet, take the Recoil, and the Poison. Um... Uh, it feels way too passive, though. I'm gonna try... I don't know. I'm gonna try this. This could be... I don't know. The only thing is that I, I, I don't want to play this too passively, where he just finds, finds enough damage, where he just kind of, you know, does what he needs to do against my team, right? That's my biggest fear. Okay, this thing goes down. Okay, that's huge. That's huge. Um, now, I don't think this thing could ever... Straight up KO me. So my best play is going to obviously be to to synthesis up so that he has to take everything. He has to take the... Actually, Earthquake does a fair amount back. Um, Earthquake does a very, very fair amount back. Yeah, Flare Bliss Recoil Plus. Uh... I'm not mm, this could be I mean this could be a choke this hundred percent could be a choke okay so actually what I think I do yeah I think this is what I do we have to sack off the escavalier and then and then from here um then my tangrowth isn't intimidated anymore so now earthquake hundred percent should do it okay yeah I think that is the end game uh, and I think that's gonna do it. Man, I'm so- yeah, okay. I believe there's no way he should be able to kind of bring it back. Especially with Tangrowth at, at, at full HP now. A non- a non-intimidated Earthquake should be able to do it. <laughs> um, but man, I don't- I don't know, man. This match was nutty. Right, because I honestly- I was honestly in, a, in not in not a bad position to, to be able to pull this in from a five a five zero position, right? But ultimately, uh, I had to find myself here. Uh, that does a lot of damage. Uh, that's probably going to uh, okay. Yeah, just Rocky Helmet does it. That's fine. Um, I I, I would have clicked Earthquake and I would have won that trap. Oh my god, that was too stressful. That's too stressful for this late at night and uh for all the stuff that we had to go through just to be able to make this happen but um that's gonna be it for me thank you guys so much for watching we're back really really soon with more weeks of the ubl we do have our first win and so we will try to mount a comeback from one and two uh this will be a very short season so we will have not a lot of time to do it but we'll have a lot of fun doing it whatever, whatever the heck's gonna happen right um yeah with that once again thank you guys so much for watching again out